guys, my name is Cypher Den, and before we get started, I'm Asian. Uh, well, technically you're a Pacific Islander since you're Filipino and everything. Uh, okay, so I guess according to this guy, I'm a Pacific Islander? Uh, no. You're Asian because it's a part of Asia. Don't you know your geography, Den? So, um, I guess I'm Asian? Pacific Islander. Asian. Pacific Islander. Asian. Um... Are you guys even Asian or Pacific Islander? No, but we decide what you are, okay? I don't know what it is about being Asian, but holy heck, why do people think they know more than you when it comes to your own culture? I know this happens to other races, but why? Just why? Like, no, just because I'm Filipino does not mean I know your one other Filipino friend that lives in your neighborhood. Hey, Dan. Do you know Jasmine? She's Filipino too. Oh, hey, Jazz. How's Tita Imelda? <gasps> I knew it! You are related! Um, I don't know her. Dang it, Dan. <laughs> Just because I'm Asian does not, I repeat, does not mean I've eaten dogs or cats. No, I legit sob and cry when anything happens to animals in movies. You think I can do such a thing to a little doggo friend? No, just stop. I don't go to your house and joke around about cooking your doggo for dinner. Doesn't mean you can too, buddy. The amount of dumb things I've been told just because I'm Asian literally makes my head hurt. Oh, look at this little snowflake getting offended by everything. It's called a joke, okay? I get it. I appreciate good jokes. Jokes are great. But heck, some people just don't realize they're being major jerk bags just because they're trying to be funny. Let me tell you, cat collars are one thing, but racist cat collars are a whole other level of what the heck are you thinking, my dude? Hmm. Once upon a time, I was walking the lovely streets of New York City and this one guy tries to catcall. Whatever, this happens so often that I have given little to no attention to these sorts of events anymore. But oh boy, this one guy. Hey, sweetie. Oh, you don't speak English? Ching chong, ching chong, maka hai, hey, 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 ching chong. Oh, sweet baby Shrek on fire, what are you thinking? Just, were you dropped as a child? Is that what happened, sir? Alright, so this one time, I visited one of my friends at their house, and I've known their mom for almost five years. Oh, hey, mom. Hey there, Casey's mom. Oh, hey, Dan. I've been saving this thing, and I was hoping you can translate this for me. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. It would be my pleasure. This lady pulls out one of those muscle reliever medicines, and the words were in Chinese. Mind you, we've talked about me being Filipino multiple times and how Tagalog is almost identical to Spanish, so this isn't news or anything. But, okay, simple misunderstanding, completely understandable, easy mistake. I'm sorry, but I'm Filipino. That's in Chinese. I'm sorry, but I can't read Chinese. Tagalog uses the alphabets just like English and Spanish. This lady looked at me all confused as if I spoke in another language real quick. Can you look at it anyway? Mom, that's Filipino. She doesn't understand Chinese. But maybe if she looks at it, maybe she can understand it. Mom, she doesn't know Chinese. But maybe, just maybe, if she looks at it and she sees it, maybe she'll remember. She legit thought that if I looked at some Chinese characters, I could unlock my inner Asian and just learn a whole new language on the spot. I mean, that'd be great if I could, but sadly, I still have to read the subtitles of any anime I watch. This debate went on for a good five minutes before I slowly walked away without anyone noticing. People have said so, so, so many dumb things to me just because they don't know any better. They also think they're being funny when they're not. Some people are just kind of being low-key racist and trying to pass it off as a joke. Please, educate yourself. Trust me, it's not that hard. Anyways, today's video is sponsored by Verve. Uh-huh, it's spelled V-R-V. Uh, no, it's spelled V R. Uh, okay, you're right. Alright then. In the super late nights of back to back animating, I've been watching a lot of Verve. It's been my number one place to go to because of their ginormous selection of my top favorite cartoons. Completely ad free, even without internet connection, by syncing episodes ahead of time. You can click the descriptions down below to get a 30 day free trial of Verve Premium, which gives you unlimited ad free access to channels like Crunchyroll, Funimation, Rooster Teeth, Cartoon Hangover, and a whole bunch more. Available on Xbox, PlayStation, iOS, or Android. No lie. 
side note, I was animating this video while watching My Hero Academia on Verve. That's why my character kind of ended up looking like Uraraka because inspiration. I've also been watching a brand new cartoon called Gary and His Demons, which is meant for a more mature audience. But let me tell you, oh boy, let me tell you, it's so freaking funny because this guy is just too old and too tired of being the chosen one to save the planet Earth. And he's just done, 100% done. And he just doesn't give a burrito about anything. Just, oh boy, you gotta watch it. You can watch all of that goodness by clicking the descriptions down below for your 30 day free trial of Verb Premium. If you guys enjoyed that video, don't forget to hit that like <coughs> notification bell button. It makes it for all the glitter in the world. And with that said, I'll see you guys later and bye bye bye.